Hi, I'm Cheryl Paul with Ask an Expert, answering your anxiety and relationship questions. Today's question is, I had my first baby a month ago and I've been feeling depressed and anxious ever since. I love my babies, but sometimes I start crying in the middle of the day for no reason and feel like I don't want to be a mom. I tried so hard to get pregnant and now this, what's wrong with me? Let me state it right off the bat, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. In fact, I'd be more concerned if you weren't crying right now. One of the most impactful statements someone said to me during my first few weeks of motherhood was, have you had a good cry yet? She said this because she knew how overwhelming, scary, exhilarating, and exhausting new motherhood can be, and that the only sane response is to cry. We have a cultural message that says that if you cry as a new mom, it either means that you don't want to be a mom or that you have postpartum depression. Both of these assumptions are colossal lies. What's really happening is that you're grieving your old life and your old identity as a non-mother. Perhaps you're grieving the exclusive relationship you had with your husband when it was only about the two of you. You're grieving your freedom, your independence, your time, your uninterrupted sleep. For many women, the realization that the old life is ending doesn't hit until the baby arrives, and that's when the floodgates open. And the truth is that denying the grief is what can lead to postpartum depression. So let yourself grieve. Remind yourself that the grief is normal and healthy, and it's what will allow you to embrace your new life and your baby with joy. And take a look at the Birthing a New Mother Home Study course. I've had new moms tell me that the lessons in the course on the first year of motherhood are a lifeline and that every time they need a reminder of what's normal during these challenging months, they review the course. We all need support during times of transition. The course is a big dose of compassionate support and guidance and a reminder that everything you're feeling is normal and that you're not alone. Don't hesitate to reach out to me through my site, conscious-transitions.com.